So here is my take on uh, on this thing you asked for. First of all, as you said, you need you want to have uh, one button for mute and one button for unmute. So that's what we we have to do first. So on the input window, you have to create one mute mute. Uh, button you select the channel in the universe you can customize this to the values that you need and mute different uh, channel here after that we need to create a, a generic input this generic input I, I named it volume with a maximum value of one this is the, in the input uh, that will control the volume volumes that you want to control on the tracks that you want to control you have to uh, multiply the track value so you put the track value on the maximum that you want the volume to be and then you multiply the track value by the input name whatever name you give it also we have to create an output uh, channel this is will be used to loop, uh, to loop this, the, the signals inside uh, the production computer. So the signals that we will send will go back to the, to the production. And this should be a TCP, UDP. This is the IP for the local host. And this is the port for the production computer. So after you have this, you have to create uh, the, the well this is the timeline that you have to that you want to control I called it audio then you have to create these two timelines the timelines are down here so one timeline will be to mute the audio the other will be to unmute the two buttons will trigger these timelines so as you can see the timelines have the trigger named after the input the, the DMX input so when you press the DMX input it will trigger the timeline when the timeline runs it will send two messages to this output and this output will be read by the production computer and ex and the way that the production computer reads it it's through this generic uh, input so we can say that this output and this generic input are, are just a link, a cable. So the message goes from here to here to here and to here. So the first one, uh, the, let's say the mute message will be to set the input called volume, this one, to the value zero this other value here it's uh, a fade in or a fade out value so it will take this is in milliseconds so it will take one second to go from one to zero and here we have uh, exactly the same only the value is one so this will unmute so we'll go from zero to one in one second and after sending this message it will send another message and this message now goes to the DMX input that we created previous it will tell the DMX once it's pressed it will tell it to go back to zero okay and mute back to zero so this will pr uh, this is to make sure that after you press it it goes back to zero so you can press it again if you need it so it executes whatever it has to do and then goes back to the zero state so that can be pressed again so let's demonstrate it now so you have to make your timeline running it's black now because it's muted so what do you do you just press the button and mute and it's there it took half a second see and you can press it again as many times as you want 
uh, this runs and after after sending the messages it stops so the timeline goes back to to stop so you can press it press it press it and it's always there um, if you press the other one it will unmute so mute unmute as you can see it takes one second to execute the fade if you don't want the fade if you want just to cut uh, it just remove this value here if you remove this one you'll see that oh, sorry make sure that everything is uh, stopped before you attempt run now it's just cutting tack tack I pr prefer to have it like this in my case but just put it back make sure to stop it fade out fade in well that's it I think uh, everything is covered here uh, I don't know if there's a way to con I think you have to do this you have to add the, the formula to all the, the audios that you want to I don't think there's a volume a master volume for, for which I'll never use it so I don't think I don't know Maybe if there is someone can can point it a way to to uh, maybe to where is it maybe a way to tick this on and off I don't know well uh, let me know if this helps thank you.